everyone, this is Jeannie and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to share with you a few things that I picked up recently at the drugstore, I'm going to say, either Walgreens, Walmart, or the salon, the hair salon. Just got my hair trimmed a little bit and I think it's kind of choppy looking. I'm never happy, never, never, never happy with how they do my hair. Um, when I went in, she said my hair was really dry, overprocessed, which I believe, because I do a lot to my hair. Um, but she said it wasn't damaged as far as my age goes. Um, she said it was the way I was putting on my hair color. I was evidently not putting it right on my roots, which is what I'm supposed to do, but kind of plopping it right back here. So there's some damage right here in the back. And she kind of gave me some hints as to what to do, since I'm determined to do it myself at home, which I am. Um, I can't stand going to the salon. I don't like wasting my time, and I don't feel like it's a pampering thing. I can't stand pedicures or manicures. I know that's weird, but that's just how it is. <laughs> so, but I have to go to get my hair trimmed, and I don't... And I don't like this. I don't like what she did. Um, anyhow, what she did was she put on this um, leave-in, really oily leave-in conditioner, which, you know, I have that, but it's not oily. Uh, and then when she was blowing it dry with a comb, it wasn't even a blow dryer with a round brush, um, she was spraying on this stuff that was, she called it powder, but it stayed in your hair to make it nourished, I guess. And then she started straight ironing it and she put in another product, which was very oily. So when she turned me around to let me look at the mirror, I was shocked at my hair. It was super straight, like skin in these little strings of oil. And I was shocked. She said, oh, your hair is going to be nice and nourished now. <laughs> she might as well have put a bottle of olive oil on my head and said goodbye. <laughs> Anyhow, I came home and my husband said, you were a lot prettier when you left. <laughs> so, and I was feeling my hair. It was so different. It was really straight. I was feeling my hair and I just couldn't see and all the gunk in it. So I took a shower. I bought some shampoo, Paul Mitchell shampoo and conditioner, and I tried to wash all that stuff out of my hair with it and it wouldn't budge. So I used, I went, she told me not to use Dove anymore. That's what I always use. And I used my Dove and it all came out. <laughs> and I can understand nourishing your hair and leaving it in for 24 hours, but you know, out the door, trying to look nice. I, I was so embarrassed. <clears throat> so anyhow, I bought the shampoo <laughs> and the conditioner, Forever Blonde, and I'm not going to keep it because it's these are $20 each. Well, 18 is the shampoo and 19 was the conditioner. I didn't even open this, so I'm going to get rid of them. I don't know if I'm going to have a giveaway or... Or what, but you know, you can't teach old dogs new tricks. I'm sorry. I have my own ways of doing things, and I'll never veer. <laughs> I will, however, I thought it was worth it. So, after a hundred dollars, right, to learn not to put my um, hair color just right here, just try to, you know, avoid that area for a while. Anyhow, I felt like a fool. I just felt like a fool. I don't know why. So, in the chair where I had to lay down in to get my hair washed was so uncomfortable. You know, maybe I'm just too old for those kinds. Anyhow, <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you. I did not have a good experience. So, let me show you what I bought that I love that makes me happy. This is making me happy. This is not cruelty-free. This is L'Oreal. Is it? Yeah, L'Oreal 
and it's the Smoky Mademoiselle uh, palette, and I love all these colors. I use them all. I've had this for a little bit, you know, maybe like a month or two, I think about a month, and I love these colors. These are my colors, and I just love, I love this brush, even though I have all kinds of brushes. I just like this long brush. Love this palette. Love it, love it. Um, another thing that I got quite a while ago, maybe right before I got my palette, was this, this chunky eyeliner brush by L'Oreal. Um, this is the Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in black. I always get black. Look how big it is. I love eyeliner. I'll always wear eyeliner. Love it. Today, I picked up some Revlon Colorstay Makeup in um, Ivory. Sorry, <laughs> I was looking at it. I got myself distracted. Can you, see, you can't see it. It's a pump. And I love it. It's creamy. I'm going to put it, use it tomorrow and see if I really, really love it. You know, you get to a certain age where you kind of know what you like. And boy, I still can't get over my Paul Mitchell experience. I love the salon just for a dry cut, but I'm never going to go back and have them do the whole thing. Like, I think I feel awful because I feel like I got upselled, upsold. Anyhow, um, I also got this Revlon. Uh, this is called Gilded Goddess Nail Polish. And it's pretty um, silvery, which I've been leaning towards these colors. There, it, this is really pretty. It doesn't really have much color in it, but I think it'll be great for the summer. Um, yeah, see, my hair is choppy. <laughs> I, don't, I need my <laughs> my friend Pat to fix my hair. That's what I'll do. I'll call Pat. Um, this is Opie Nail Lacquer that I really love. And this is called, it's what I have on now. Okay, I was at this, right? Okay, the um, OPI. This is called, what is it? It is called Meet Me on the Star Fairy. Meet Me on the Star Fairy. It's really pretty. And it's thundering out right now. We're having our usual afternoon storm scooters barking his head off i think that's everything i wanted to share with you thank you so much for watching everyone i hope you're doing well and i'm going to see you in my next video bye bye